Today we have eight of the best welterweights that the UFC has ever seen. We start off at the quarter finals with our four matchups today. We have Leon Rocky Edwards v Belial Muhammad. Then to see one of them into the semi finals, we have Kamara Usman v Tyrone Woodley. On the other side of the bracket, we have UFC legend Robbie Lawler versus another UFC leg legend, GSP, also known as George Saint Pierre. Then alongside them, we have Kobe Covington v Shavkat Rachmanov. All right, here we go. We'll get into the first fight. Leon Edwards v. Belial Muhammad. Submission attempt here. He's fighting, he wants his badly. What a tight arm bar. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. All right, side control now, DC. You know, he's in his own on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Do you believe it? This next round is underway in the previous round. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really, just the way he drew. But Leo Muhammad books a place in the in the semi-finals of this tournament for, by round two knockout on Leon Edwards. Or who will be who will be joining him? 
We will find the answer very soon with Kamara Usman versus Tyron Woodley coming up next. Kamara Usman gets the TKO victory in round two of the Tyron Woodley and moves on to the semi finals where he'll verse Bilal Muhammad. But next off, we've got to find out what the next semi final will be. We have the first match of the other side of the bracket UFC legend Robbie Lawler versus UFC legend Jorge Saint Pierre. It landed beautifully, perfect placement on that shot. Oh, you can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the Matt Johnson paper, like fire. And it's Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man right now. <laughs> this table is a mess. <laughs> oh, that's what's up, Yeah.
reached the end of the round. But that's the end of the round. You see the butter's kind of caught on his lip, not necessarily a rock. St. Pierre books a place in the semi-finals after beating Robbie Lawler in round two. But who will join him? Kobe Covington or Shavkat Rachmanov? Shavkat Rachmanov books a place in the semi finals to versus Saint Pierre after his round one TKO v Kobe Covington. Now we're on to the semi finals. The first matchup we have Bilal Mohammed v Kamara Usman.
Williams with that left hand. Not there. Big elbow. Doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio. The ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he gets to take out of him. Oh, looking for the kill lock now. Might have to keep it here. Fight IQ on full display there. The next semi-final, who will join Belil Mohammed in the finals? It will either be Sin Pierre or Shavkat Rachmanov. The final is now set with Saint Pierre beating Shavkat Rachman of Vitekio in the first round. Belil Mohammed and Saint Pierre fight it out to see who is the best welterweight in the UFC of all time. Ready, fight. Ready. Yeah. All right, here we go, round one with Bilal. Remember the name Muhammad. And a lot of people were willing to forget the name when he lost to Jeff Neal back in 2019. This man has been on an absolute tear ever since. <laughs> Inverted now. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Okay, he's cut on the eye from that last strike. You got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Not much behind the takedown offering there. And he's looking for that left, it's not there.
side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Inside the floor, you got a ton of options. He goes deep on belly. Now he's going to pull mount. Huge shots landing on both sides. Back to his feet. There we go, the final is done and a champion has been crowned, crowned. Saint-Pierre is now the best welterweight that the UFC has ever seen due to him beating Belial Mohammed in the second round by TKO. Alright guys, if you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe, turn the notifications on to never miss another upload now see you all next one peace